drains and roof leaders into the sanitary sewer system, but it, it speaks to a physical inspection of that privately owned and operated portion of the utility, which is the connection between the house and the curb line. Um, the time of sale ordinance proposes to mitigate illegal um, flows of clean water into the sanitary sewer system. And the, the main purpose of that is to remove clean water from the sanitary sewer system so that that water that's being sent down to Philadelphia to the treatment plant isn't being treated as sanitary um, uh, flows. It's clean water. It should not be in that system. Um, so in order to do that, they, they look for not just the illegal connections, but they look to see what the uh, condition of the pipe is, the physical structure itself. So the pipe would be inspected not by Haverford Township employees. It would be inspected by private contractors. It's the privately operated portion of the utility. It, it is a private improvement, just as the walkway from the sidewalk to the front door is a private walkway. Um, so one of the things the township is considering is the adoption of that ordinance. What we haven't done is we haven't seen some of the reaction from DEP to the 537 plan. And at this point, I think I'm going to hand it over to Dave because he speaks this language more fluently. <laughs> uh, he speaks engineer fluently. There you go. go ahead. Actually, Lori actually uh, briefed you pretty good. The, the ordinance was a requirement. This township had two options. To approve the 537 plan presented by the county, with that ordinance to address inflow and infiltration or to approve the plan and say we're going to do our own inflow and infiltration program. And we would have one year from the approval of that plan to, to prepare and get the DEP to approve that, our own INI program. Doesn't mean we can't do it, but we, have, we know from the DEP that their recommendation is the point of, point of sale inspection of the sanitary sewer ladder. And we already mentioned that's the private pipe from the house to the street. The plan has not been approved yet by every municipality. We approved it, we adopted it. I believe there's 31 that have to adopt it. I know there's a few that haven't adopted it yet. So it hasn't been to finalized and submitted to the DEP. That's scheduled for the end of 2013, so it's a little bit behind schedule. Lori's right, once that goes into the DEP, there'll be some feedback on the approval of the plan. We don't see any point of sale adoption. We talked about this when we adopted the plan at the, at the earliest, the third or fourth quarter of this year, we're probably a good year away from that, that us finalizing our ordinance and adopting it. So there is, there will be some review periods still the DEP left. Dave, is there, is there an option for us or does it have to be done at point of sale? It doesn't have to be done at point of sale. We could consider an option of that. We know the DEP will approve point of sale. I shouldn't, let me answer that a little bit softer. We know the DEP will approve point of sale. We could, we could, if, if this board wanted to consider petitioning the DEP for an alternative uh, for the inspection of those uh, laterals. That's that is an option that we have. Okay. Is that something this board would entertain at a work session, a discussion? Sure. Mr. President, I think we should. I think we should discuss it. I think we should see what the surrounding townships are doing and try to take a look at. Um, not to get into this too much right now, but I, I think we should address this at a work session and uh, look at point of sale at overall while we're doing it. I did mention, not, not to belabor it, when, when we did adopt ours, I did mention some of the, the half a dozen or so towns which yes. we know that have the point of sale, Concord, Darby Town. East Goshen has it. Yep. Um, and, there, and all of our neighbors are in the process, all of our neighbors in this plan are in the process of deciding what they do more right. I don't know. I, I know Marple. I don't believe their board's adopted it yet. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm not sure what Springfield did, but we could. We can get that information right. if we wanted to discuss it in the more detail at a, at a work session. Okay. Let's uh, put it on the work session, and we will move on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, Mr. Lever, on the uh, two issues of uh, Mr. Levin, Dr. Levin, and Gary Bogosian. I'd like to thank Dr. Levin for his comments about the library and Gary Bogosian for. Coming up with the eight spots and trying to save the citizens of Aberford Township millions of dollars. And uh, anytime you fellas want to join me on the team to save these people millions of dollars, you're welcome to be on my team. Okay, all right. Uh, can, I, can, yeah. I, can I add something? Uh, yeah, sorry. go ahead. The, the library discussion the meeting is at a work session. Right. It's not at the February 10th meeting. So it's it's February the 3rd, 
Right. It's going to be a special work session to discuss the, uh, that issue, um, and it will be at the middle school, correct, Mr. Go? Yes, yes middle, middle school, 7 p.m. It will be on the website uh, as well as the cable access <coughs> channel to remind our residents. Thank you. Commissioner. Uh, thank you. I, I just want to make one point regarding what's been said about the library, not on the merits, but the comment that this township is rushing into the project w about the library and the township and the administration building is simply not true. And we can't allow the truth to get in the way of argument here. We've been debating this for four years. And as a result, whatever we decide, and we haven't decided, and I'm not advocating anything right now, but to say that we're rushing when the property committee has made multiple presentations with various members simply is not accurate. I, okay. I believe that the comment was, let's not rush into it. Right. So, and, and we're not rushing into Mr. it. Mr. Lieber, can I comment? Please, wait a minute. No. I'm going to comment to what he said. Please. Because, Jim, wait, no. Jim. Let's they agreed, this property committee agreed on Jim, three please. things, police station, town, uh, the public works yard, yeah. and the yeah. uh, township yeah. building. Those three things. That's what you guys agreed to. Don't tell me you didn't, Dan. Please. Okay. Let's move on. Um, Approval of minutes? Mr. Well, wait, Mr. President, I, I did want to address reapportionment, if I could. Oh, yeah. Okay, reapportionment. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I, I find myself often saying... Uh, especially in my work, but sometimes to my kids, don't get mad at me for something I haven't done yet. The, this board has already taken a good bipartisan step in appointing three of us, Jane Hall, myself, and Mr. Uh, and Mr. Connell. No, no. Go, go ahead. Uh, it's not. Go ahead. Who oh. is it? It's not me? No. Oh, okay. I thought oh, it was. Who's the third? Uh, I believe it's Steve. Is it Steve? Oh, Mr. DeMille. Oh, okay. Well, that's Sorry. even more bipartisan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, for us to try to get together and come, <laughs> come up with, boy, I'm going to quit right now. <laughs> I lose. Uh, my point is um, that, that I'm only aware of one instance in this township where reapportionment was used to um, exact some political revenge on people. And um, the very next intervening election resulted in three people losing their spots and the fourth coming very close to losing their spot on this board. And the new board then reversed that reapportionment plan and did a new one with the help of an expert that I've not heard a complaint about since other than the folks who got put into my ward. So um, while I appreciate the idea of, um, uh, you know, that we can set the standard for people uh, everywhere else in the country, I, I'm fully uh, confident that um, the three of us commissioners who are charged, I mean, this board is charged by the law with the duty of doing the reapportionment and it is automatically because it's a vote of this board a political exercise i do expect it to be a reasonable uh bipartisan and sensible exercise and i i just don't want to see um concern raised ahead of time until people have seen plans we discuss and realize that their fears um are uh, are not going to be realized and are and are overblown I'm more than willing to have Jane. You can okay. believe me. You can be on that board. Trust okay. me. Uh, we, we, yeah. we haven't decided what, what the makeup of the board is. Those are three people who have come up to me and, and spoken to me about the makeup of the board. It will be a three-board panel. I haven't made a final decision on who will be on the panel. Well, I, okay. I dare you not to put me on it. Well, no. I'm, <laughs> all right. So let's, let's move on. Yeah, Jane and I are going to talk because I'm more than willing to. We'll do okay. whatever you say. Yeah, no. We'll. Those are three people who have we discussed mm -hmm. to, to be on the board. Mr. Lever, in all fairness, the, we, what Larry Holmes is talking about, I and Mr. Trumbull were affected more than mm -hmm. anyone on, in mm -hmm. this township. That's true. So That's true. We'd, I'd like to have a say in this. Uh, I, I don't want to see it everybody go back the old way. Well, well, okay. I mean, everything everybody has to be voted on by this board. Vote yeah, on. the idea was that, that, not, is that a group put, of us, put so the, that we didn't have nine of us sitting together going through a map. And I haven't finalized anything. So... Let's move forward. Approval of minutes. Chairman. Yes, I thought we did. I'd like to make no, a motion to approve the regular know. meeting. I thought we did. Of December 9, 2013. Put a three. Okay. And reorganization meeting of January 6, 2014. Second. Second. Oh, I don't think so. I hope not. Motion made and seconded. I was one of those who sued the stop the last time. I like to be on the Please call the roll. Mr. Demilio? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Heilman? Yes. And Mr. Oliva? 
<laughs> yes. Approval of warrants. Commissioner Holmes? Yes. Oh, Mr. President, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. President, I move we approve the following warrant. Uh, warrant number one of 2014, totaling $3,048,919.19, uh, comprising the general and sewer fund payroll for December 5, 2013, in the amount of $871,737.48, the general and sewer fund payroll for December 19, of 2013 in the amount of $723,636.90. The general fund disbursements number one of 2014 in the amount of $1,128,023.22. The sewer fund disbursements number one of 2014 in the amount of $203,908.81. The community development Block grant, uh, sorry, block grant fund disbursements number one <coughs> of 2014 in the amount of $51,620.10. Capital projects funds disbursements number one 2014 in the amount of $64,188.13. And on the following page, the credit card statement ending December 6, 2013 <coughs> in the amount of $5,804.44. Second. Motion made and seconded. Mr. President, our new auditor has gone through these um, warrants uh, with our uh, township <coughs> finance director and uh, has uh, approved them, and I recommend that we approve them. Okay. Please call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio. Yes. Mr. Saul. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. Holmes. Yes. Mr. McGarry. Yes. Mr. Connell. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Heilman. Yes. And Mr. Oliva. Number seven. Steve, um, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to adopt the second reading of ordinance number P3D4, 2013, by modifying the term of, of a duty tow license for a period of two years and the date of issuance with an additional year upon approval of the Board of Commissioners. Second. Motion made and seconded. Dan? Mr. Uh, President, um, I have to recuse myself from this vote. I have a recusal statement that I'd be asked to put in the record. It's because of a professional conflict. Okay. So I can't vote on this matter. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other discussion? Please call the roll. Uh, Mr. D'Amelio? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Heilman? Yes. And Mr. Oliva? Within that Mr. Statement. Chairman? That's good. Within that, extension of the current towing contract includes uh, towers and impound lots. Motion to approve the extension of the current towing contract, which also includes impound lots to expire January 2015. They are towers one, <coughs> Bob and Joe's towing, two, K and S towing, impound, direct paint and collision, and two, Brendan's auto body. Second. Chairman, before we continue, I, I think one of these may have done work on my car. Ten years ago, maybe I'm not sure. I'm is it still sure. running? That's the point. Sure is, oh, you know why? It's still I, running. I, I, just <laughs> yeah, say, I just want to put that out there. You know. Well, I think I, you said I, that last year. Did I, yeah. I? I just want to be sure that you know. I, I know they I, have. I don't think you said that before. Joe's, you know? yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure I one of these not people towed my car once, yeah, and I'm pretty I, mad I, about I, it, actually. I'm pretty sure that would be a, a, a stretch for an ethics violation. Yeah. Uh, look, you know, look, okay. I, I just want to get it out there. Mr. Okay. I, I agree. Right. I mean, Eight I you second. thought it was some reason yeah. you couldn't vote because no, the job I, was done or something. No, unlike last week, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio. Yes. Mrs. Hall. Yes. Mr. Siegel. I'm recused. Oh, sorry, recused. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. Yes. Mr. McGarity. Mr. Connell. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Uh, Mr. Heilman. Yes. And Mr. Oliva. Yes. Number eight. Resolution number 1915-2014, Major Subdivision Plan, Harvard Road. Motion to adopt resolution number 1915-2014, approving the Major Subdivision Plan for Harvard Road, submitted by Jeffrey Steigerwald. Harvard Road, Delaware County, and known as DC Folio number 2201026250000, have been submitted to permit the existing 2.95 acre lot to be subdivided into seven lots. The subject property is zoned R5 Residential District and located in 7th Ward. The aforesaid plans were prepared by Herbert 
E. McCombie, Jr., Consulting Engineers and uh, Surveyors, Bruno, PA, dated October 14, 2013, subject to the findings and recommendations of the Planning Commission. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Yeah. I'm sorry. There was, okay. a, was, a, there was a revision. There was a revision. Mm -hmm. um, resolution. And it was sent around. Um, so in addition to the recommendations of the Planning Commission, the rest of the um, motion should be uh, for the payment of a fee in lieu of open space <coughs> in accordance with subsection. Hand that to Commissioner McGarry so he can yeah. read it. Yeah. And, and then he'll it. read it into the record. The rest of the board, that'll be on your computers. It if is. You can see it at the bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to read you? Hmm? Starting here, the payment of a fee in lieu of okay. open space. Okay. All right, also the, uh, the payment of a fee in lieu of open space in accordance with S160 5C 4 and the execution of the temporary assessment with the Haverford Township needed to construct the Harvard Road extension. Temporary easement. Second. Okay. So that motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Mr. DiMilio? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Heilman? Yes. Yes. Number nine. Mr. President, motion to adopt resolution <coughs> number 1920-2014, authorizing the disposition of records in accordance with the Municipal Records Manual of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Second. Motion made and seconded. We have an explanation of what this is. Sure. Would you like to explain that, Dan, or you what do you want? Uh, in accordance with Pennsylvania law, we have to approve the disposition <laughs> or destruction of all records, and this creates a schedule including what is being disposed of, so the, what the particularly finance department records, uh, those types of things, and it lists them from 2006, et cetera. <coughs> so how long are we supposed to hold financial records? I'm just curious. I don't know all of the details, but... You know, yeah, there, there's a, it depends on the record. It depends on the records. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It depends on the, I do, I do have a voice. It depends on the nature of the record, um, typically seven years. Okay. Some other records are three years, and um, we do this each of the last three or four Januaries we've been doing this. Thank you. Any other discussion? Nope. Please call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio. Yes. Mrs. Hall. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. Holmes. Yes. Uh, Mr. McGarity. Yes. Mr. Connell. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Heilman? Yes. And Mr. O'Leary? Yes. Number 10. Item 10, resolution number 1921-2014. Motion to adopt resolution number 1921-2014, approving the final land development and lot consolidation plan for the Quarry Center LP for the property located at 116 Township Line Road, Route 1, south of Westchester Pike, Route 3, Halford Township, Delaware County, and known as DC Folios number 22-09, dash zero two three seven six dash zero zero twenty two zero nine zero one eight five three dash zero zero twenty two zero nine zero two zero three six dash zero zero twenty two zero nine zero two zero three seven zero zero twenty two zero nine zero two zero three eight dash zero zero twenty two zero nine zero two zero four zero 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 twenty two zero nine zero two zero eight four zero zero and also identified as Delaware County tap, Tax Map Parcel Number 22-39-030-000. Was approved by the Board of Commissioners by Resolution Number 1811-2011 on October the 11th, 2011. <coughs> Subject to the recommendation of the Planning Commission described above, is hereby adopted and conditional approval of the final land development and lot consolidation for the Quarry Center LP, last revised on September 20th, 2013, for the property located at 116 Township Line Road, Halford Township, Delaware County, is hereby approved in conformity with the recommendations of the Planning Commission. I'm going to second that just the way you zeroed in on that. <laughs> that, was, that was perfect. Um, any discussion? <coughs> I second it, Mary. Yeah. Please call the roll. Mr. DiMilio. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Hall. Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarry? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Heilman? Yes. And Mr. Oliva? Yes. Number 11, Commissioner Heilman? Yes, uh, I'd like to make a motion 
to award the electrical contract for upgrades to the public works yard to Charles A. Higgins and Sons, Media PA, in the amount of $185,805, submitting the lowest responsible bid. Second. Motion being seconded. <coughs> Any discussion? Please call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGill? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Heilman? Yes. And Mr. Oliva? Yes. Commissioner D'Amelio, Police <coughs> Mr. Department. Mr. Oh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to <coughs> authorize the purchase of five marked and one unmarked police vehicles from Pacifico Marple Auto Group, Rumo PA, under CoStar's, CoStar's contract number 197. 967 for a total purchase price of 173,145. Second. Motion made and seconded, and that's under the Coast or Coast Arts program. Yeah, can I just make one quick mm -hmm. comment? The money yep, is please. in the budget, it was approved, um, as <coughs> well as we order them immediately because the way the Coast Stars work and the way they make the police package vehicles, it's first come, first serve. So we get the order in. We pay this upon delivery of the vehicle, so we don't expect the delivery for at least another two to three months. So, just wanted to make a note of that. I think it's I think it's great. We didn't announce what the car was this time. You know, like the last time, we kind of told everybody what it was and made it marked pretty pretty easily. Yeah. So. How many unmarked police vehicles do we have? How many unmarked? Who knows? <laughs> um, oh. Well, we yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, we that, have that's several. That's not saying the type of it. There's a thousand, so there's, watch there's, out. There's a several. There we have several unmarked. Some are in, in. You know, I don't want to take the, have the chief to get an answer better than I can. But we actually have uh, some that are used in patrol. We have some that are used in the uh, our uh, inv investigation division. Um, <coughs> that's why I asked because there's so much has been going on the last uh, couple of months. I think the answer is Steve. Every other car that goes by you on Westchester Pike is just unmarked. Mark. That's good, Jimmy. Thank you. And you'll see a lot of the police departments, as well as Haverford, and we're going to take that approach as well this year. Even though a marked police car, they they call it a low profile, where the letterings are, the lettering on the vehicle is not as um, distinct, uh, as well as there's no light bar on the top. So it's actually used more so in traffic control, and we're going to be doing that as well with some of the vehicles that are coming in. And the vehicles that are coming <coughs> in are, uh, will be, the, the ones that are going in patrol will be the all-wheel all drive vehicles, the Ford Explorers, which um, financially they work better for us, and they're safer. The ones that we just got last year worked out really well, especially with the winter we've been having. So, thank you. Mr. Gentile, what, what's the total fleet? <coughs> Fleet of cars. Do you know the six, number? There's a total of six vehicles that we got. Oh, overall. And overall, I mean, do you know the number of cars the police have, and and how often do we replace them? Uh, that I don't know off the top of my head. We have several in patrol, several in investigations, and how they're as far as replacing them. When they're taken out of patrol, sometimes we we repaint them. We put them in investigations used okay. for for our detectives, and then from there. Then they go down to the codes department, and then they may go down to recreation. Uh, it's always been a, uh, uh, I remember Mr. Howsworth was always concerned about us using those vehicles, but we, <laughs> we, we can get 10 to 15 years out of the average vehicle. So, the, for example, okay. the two of the uh, vehicles that are used in codes were used as a primary paramedic vehicle for the last six, six years. So. Um, and Tim blame. Denny's driving an old Edsel around, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Five Dodge Did you see that? He drives around in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I actually, I will forward, we actually have a, a, um, uh, an index of every township vehicle and who that vehicle or what department the vehicle is assigned to. And I'll forward it to this board. It's good information for you guys to have. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio. Yes. Mrs. Hall. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. Holmes. Yes. Mr. McGarrett. And for the chief, sure. <coughs> yeah. And Mr. Connell. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Heilman. Yes. And Mr. Oliva. Yes. Number 12, appointments. Mr. President. Commissioner. Uh, Mr. President, I move that we reappoint David Rohde as the Civil Service Commission solicitor for one year term to expire December 31st, 2014. Second. Okay. Mr. President. Commissioner Connell. I move that we appoint Brian Gondick, Esquire, as Civil Service Commission Solicitor for one year term <coughs> to expire December 31st, 2014. 
Okay. Any others? I'm so, sorry. President, Second. I move we. Second. President, you want uh, to close? I, I move we close <coughs> nominations. Do you have a second for that? Second. We're closing your nominations. All in favor of closing the nominations? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, Mr. President, obviously we spoke about this last week. I, I, I've, um, I have moved uh, to reappoint Mr. Uh, Rohde. I, I feel he's done a good job up until now as a civil service commission solicitor.